potatoes going potate, taters going tate, and haters going hate. Good morning, it's 5.45 a.m. Um, we woke up at 5.13 a.m. but kept waking up since 4 a.m. Well, I also wake up, woke up at 10 something. So I was asleep at like 9.30, but lots of people were talking, so we kept hearing them talking. But we're gonna be going to Mount Athos today in the Blue Lagoon, so follow along. On the bus. So we're gonna be going to a lot today to see a lot today at least, um, but it takes us about two hours to get there and then 40 more minutes from our first stop. When we go to the Blue Lagoon, there is an island that's next to the Blue Lagoon called Banana Island, so we're also going to see that. We stopped to take a break and eat some sandwiches. And we're getting coffee. It's a half an hour break. So we got ourselves coffee. I got myself a very large kitchen and then it would come that big. And then some little tarts. I don't know what they are, but they look good. It's really good. It's not too sweet. It's a little tart. It's like a lemon tart. But it's just very sticky. are super famous here, um, obviously. They first came from Syria and then they made their way over to Greece and around the world and obviously loved it the most in Greece and uh, Italy and Rome. Olive trees um, prefer warmer summers and then less harsh winters and like a sea breeze so they grow here perfectly in Greece. There is the story that the way that um, Athens was came to be is that there was a fight between two gods to see which one would get the city and Poseidon struck a rock and seawater came out but Athena hit the ground and the um, olive tree grew. So then it was also named after her, Athens Athena. Also when the New Worlds were discovered, which is North and South American continents were first discovered, olive trees were one of the first trees to make it over to the Americas. And by the second half of the 1500s, there were olive trees growing in Mexico. The place that we're here at is called Hilikidiki, right? This is Hilikidiki, right? No, Hilkidiki, and there's like around 40 people left that live here. Getting on a cruise boat.
So the Mount Athos Peninsula has 20 monasteries and it is illegal for women to be on the peninsula or even 500 meters within the peninsula. We're not doing well at all. Very seasick. Children are not allowed on Mount Athos either and even female animals are taken off the mountain. But I haven't yet. Very close though. The ban on women for Mount Athos has been effective for more than 1,000 years and Mount Athos itself allows every single day 100 Orthodox Greek people and then 100 non-Orthodox people three-day permits to visit the mountain but only men, no children, no women. <laughs> We made it. Sorry, I didn't get a lot because we were feeling really badly, very badly to see you. And of course, when I threw up, I was very close to throwing up, and then I got super sleepy, then we fell asleep. Anyways, we made it to Banana Island. If we took a boat like that, it would have been better because it can go faster. So we decided not to take the little boat back to shore just because we wanted a bit of a refreshing moment after we were sick for so long. The water was like a cold shock as soon as you jumped in, we jumped off of the little plank thing. Um, and it was salty, we swallowed a lot of water, but it was a great experience and it took about two to three minutes. So we swam all the way from the bat big boat and we jumped off the top and swam all the way to shore. And we're a little exhausted, especially since we were just seasick. Horribly, horribly seasick. It did wake us up because the water was like a sh sudden shock of cold. So after all that, we got soblaki chicken, or this is pork, soblaki pork and rice and a nice little cucumber tomato salad with onion and tzatziki and bread. And then there's cherry juice and white wine. But since we're feeling still kind of eh after that seasickness and all that swimming, we decided to, well, I got cherry juice and Kosan's gonna drink both of them because I can't drink it. And we didn't want to have alcohol because I don't think that would help us with our sickness. So we're gonna enjoy our time. Uh, there's a lot of pretty rocks. I'm trying to see if I can see any fish. Touching the ground still. I'm still touching the ground. I know. You're touching the ground? Can you? Yeah, but there's a lot of things. See? You can float. Egg beatering. <laughs> it's 3 45 and we're leaving now. Goodbye, beautiful beach. Goodbye, beautiful beach. This is our boat. We take the boat all the way.
way back to the ship. I can't believe that we jumped off the ship, off the plane. And swim all the way over here. Back in the bus, there's gorgeous, gorgeous view. It's beautiful. Man, I'm gonna miss this view. Yeah, we got up at 5:10 a.m. It is 5:30 now. We'll get back at 7:30.